All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. This is not gonna be a two minute artwork, <laughs> um, but I'm definitely gonna show you just my process, just how free I sort of flow with it. I like to get in tune and I uh, do have quite a fast process. So I just wanna show you guys just how I flow with it. And yeah, check it out. Right, 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 right. I like to start with the black, um, black, but this is, this is red. So I might start with like a gray outline of something. Um, and I mean, the cool thing about, about art is, um, the less you think about what you're doing, the better I feel it becomes. So like my process is I'm not necessarily the art, artist that looks at a lot of references and then tries to imitate and maybe do something similar or I sort of I like to do randomness um but then make sense of it you know so right now it looks like randomness but as an add-on covers then it starts to become something but also I like the process of just detaching from controlling the outcome you know I feel that's the purest part if I am separating myself from the outcome then i sort of go with the flow of what's happening of what i see in front of me instead of trying to make something i sort of just let the art make itself you feel me so yeah i'm just gonna tap into it now I mean, black is just always going to add depth. It doesn't matter what color your canvas is. Black is always going to add this depth of like, ooh, okay, now I've got something to look at. Look at Cause it's like, this is the outline, but then as soon as you add that black, it's like, oh, you know, now you've got this thing. And I was like, yo, what am I looking at? Now there's some depth, you know? Now, now we can add some dimension. Now it's no longer just this random piece of just an outline, but now it becomes, it starts to live, it starts to breathe. It starts to breathe. Um, yeah, that's that's the beauty of art, man. That's the beauty of art. I mean, when you do it for real, when you do it for real, it comes. But you also sort of you need to tune into the universe and and allow it, you know, because um, if you've got this arrogance view of art on art, then you want to create something to prove like a point so you want to you want to you want to prove how good you can draw or you want to show how good your color theory is but if you just let the art do its thing that's when you really tap into the universe and flow and that's when you start to create things that you probably can't explain but somebody else is going to see it and see meaning that's that's the dope thing about art So if, if you've noticed, I really like blue. <laughs> I like blue and orange. Um, I just like the contrast. Um, but I am switching it up now. I'm doing the series of just red. So this is actually the first. So this piece right now, the first person that's going to buy this piece is going to get the first of the series that I'm doing now. So this is the beginning. So everything that I create after this piece is going to be referenced from this. That's how much value this piece is worth. So um, this is the beginning of the series, um, the red backdrop, but this is how it starts. And everything that I created after this piece is gonna be a reference of this. So this is, yeah, most definitely the most valuable piece because this is the beginning, you feel? It? So this kind of looks like a foot, so it probably is a foot. It probably is a foot, but I don't want to lock myself in the idea of doing a foot um, because then I'm going to try um, lock myself in the idea of maybe having to do a body. So I don't need to make sense of, of the foot. I see a foot, but I don't need to explain it anymore. Oh, I think I'm going to do it here. So this is not a green that shouldn't be here, but it's gonna be here because effort. 
you going to make a statement? Does it fit in the color palettes? Maybe not. But we don't care, right? Um, and I can play with the lighter shades of blue. I mean, I don't need to go crazy with the colors here. A dark blue and a light blue is enough. I don't mean like blending is everything. Um, it doesn't matter what medium you use, like whether it's pastel, whether it's chalk, whether it's paint, blending is always going to add just this dimension. Um, so yeah, if there's anything I like doing is playing around with just blending. Now the black is really where I try to shape um, and sort of try to make sense of the chaos because there's um, there's a lot of colors, there's a lot of shapes, but the black just sort of helps hold the shape together. Sort of like it unifies what's going on. Um, might squeeze some over here as well. Um, yeah, at this point, I'm just using the yellow to sort of highlight any pockets of empty space to just sort of bring them to life. Um, you don't want to overdo it, but all right, I mean, we we in a good place here. Um, this is honestly 90%. Uh, just took some time to look at it for a bit. Uh, I think I want to fill something here. I might add that green, might be interesting here. Um, I might add something here. Um, yeah, but we're about done. We're about done. The green. Maybe I don't do it all around. Maybe I just. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. So I might wanna. I might want to do something else with that. Um, now we create some unity here. Right. Right. And this might very well be this. this point how do I know when it's done um, I guess it's this feeling I don't really know when I'm done until I know I'll be contemplating about this eye about leaving it or not leaving it I think I'll make it green. I think I'll make it green. I'm not going to day. That's it. That's it. That's it. 